Hey you guys, Phoebe here from Little Grey Box with Matt behind the camera and our best friend Laika in tow with us. Now we are doing an incredible road trip adventure all the way from Christchurch down to Milford Sound and back covering roughly 1700 kilometers and this is our third video in the series so if you haven't watched the other two yet go and watch them now and then come back to this one. Now we have just gotten back to Queenstown from Milford Sound and we are so happy to be here. Now Queenstown is located in the South Island right on Lake Wakatipu. You can see the Southern Alps behind me. It is absolutely beautiful and it is known for two amazing ski fields. They are Coronet Peak and the Remarkables and we're going to be experiencing both of those but today we're starting back at Coronet Peak because we're taking advantage of something they do called Elevate and it's going to be a night ski extravaganza. There's going to be live music, great food, drinks, fires. It's going to be epic. I've never done this before but it sounds incredible just grabbing something to eat from Lord of the Fries and then we're gonna head up there I am so excited I've been dreaming about your kiss since last night do you think that I could get you back up baby cause I need it again 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 Trying to come over for the this night. is the night ski at Coronet Peak and you guys it is so much fun as you can see you get to watch the sunset and the sky goes all nice and dark you can see Queenstown lit up below they've got lights in the snow fields the DJ down the bottom is playing great music it is so 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 much fun and what I love about it is if you're here and you really want to do some sightseeing you can do that you can go out you can see Queenstown all day and then you come up here at about three or four o'clock in the afternoon spend a few hours catching some runs and then eat and then head back down on the down the mountain either in your car or by the bus. Now one thing I would probably recommend is paying the extra $20 for the pro rentals. We came up and we just had the regular rentals and we really noticed the difference and for $20 when you're spending money anyway for your lift passes for your gear rental the $20 for the pro rentals really makes a big difference. I've been dreaming your kisses great sleep last night after all that night ski action but you know what we're up early no we're not up early we slept in <laughs> we were so tired we slept in late so we're actually catching the afternoon session up here today we are at the remarkables which is about a 40 minute drive from the center of Queenstown of course you can catch your buses from the heart of town or you can drive up here provided you are carrying snow chains of course we parked at car park 4 and got the free shuttle from there up to here at the start point we've got all our gear higher and we are ready to go this is our final final snow day we're all really really excited we've had so much fun skiing and snowboarding lake is ready to really step things up today oh my gosh i'm hoping to see him do a proper run today let's see if we can get there but for now let's get out there and have some fun if i take you down would you really hold me down and be your best friend she just wanna hit me with a quickie by the pool and i'm like yes ma'am Got me feeling for your body, you might turn me to a yes man. Oh yeah, 80 and a 40, I'm a nervous bitch, I'm flatter than your ex man. We ain't gotta go outside. Two step in the rain. Wake up After another great day on the snow at Remarkables, we headed straight back to Aqualand. I mentioned it in our last video but it is fantastic you guys. It's not scenic like the Onsen hot pools but if you just are really sore after a big day of shredding it then that's the way you want to go. It's eight dollars per person and you can just sit in that beautiful hot pool. It's adults only. It's really really nice and we all feel a million bucks after it. Now we have come here back to the Queenstown Lakeview Holiday Park but I cannot recommend it highly enough. We're about 400 meters from the center of town so it's really convenient like now when we come back after a big day and we want to head out for dinner and drinks you don't have to worry about who's driving 
where am I going to park the van? You just pull straight up, they've got all the amenities that you need, they've got Wi-Fi, a kitchen, a bathroom, you know, you've got your powered sites, which is what we're using, and for three people, for two nights, I believe because it was the weekend, it was a little more expensive, it was around 180 New Zealand dollars. And now, if you've ever visited Queenstown before or looked for places to stay here, you won't find anywhere else, even at backpackers, private rooms will not cost you as little as $180 for three people for two nights. So it's a really good value, great location and everything you need. Now I know that this video has been really focused on snow, but that's what this trip has been about for us you guys. And Queenstown is the adventure capital of the world, so we are really just scratching the surface today. But hey, there are so many other things that you can do while you're here. You can go skydiving, they've got bungees, there's shot over jets, there's paragliding. There are so many adventure activities, so I want to make sure that you guys know about all of those. So if you do have the time and they take your fancy, you can take advantage of them. But for now, we are going to go get some dinner and some cold beers at the pub. Let's go find a good one. Right into your legs like, oh my God. And let's go on a day like, oh my God. When I'm back from LA like, oh my God, oh my God, yeah. She still think it's odd, yeah. Now there are loads of great restaurants to choose from in Queenstown, you're spoiled for choice. There are some really well known ones like Berg Burger, I believe Botswana Butcher is another really popular one. Like I said, no shortage whatsoever. But you guys, sometimes after a huge day of snowboarding, all you need is your curry fix and that's how we were feeling. So we came here to Bombay Palace and the food was great. It did take a little while to get the food, maybe about 45 minutes. but. We weren't in a rush, had a few beers while we were waiting and everything was delicious. We even got the doggy bag, got our leftovers to go, so we're sorted for tomorrow. But hey, if you're like us and you need to get your curry on after a big day on the ski fields, this is your spot. Good morning, you guys. We are waking up in beautiful Queenstown. Now this is our last morning here. We're gonna be driving to Tekapo later today, but we're not leaving just yet. So I mentioned yesterday that Queenstown is the adventure capital of the world and it wouldn't be a trip to Queenstown without doing at least something a little bit crazy. So I thought I would have one more surprise in store for Laker. Now you might recall from our first video that I surprised him with a skydive. No! We're going skydiving in about 40 minutes from now. Holy <laughs> no! Well today I'm surprising him with the Nevis catapult. Oh my goodness, he has no idea. He's all broken and busted from snowboarding and fallen on his butt and he's about to be hurled through the air at a rate of knots. It's going to be so much fun. So what we're gonna do is find a way to surprise him. We're gonna film it so you guys can see his reaction. Let's see if we can trick him just one more time before we go. <laughs> all right, you guys, we are here in the heart of Queenstown. Now this is the major intersection, so if you're going to be doing any adventure activities, anything like that, this is a spot where you are going to want to come. And this is a spot that Laker needs to be at, because we've got one last surprise. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just one more thing. Laker, uh, today you're going to be doing the Nevis Catapult. It's the largest in the world. You're going to be pre-propelled pre over 150 meters, experiencing up to three Gs of force and reaching, <laughs> reaching paces of 100 kilometers an hour in approximately 1.5 seconds. You're joking. No! You're joking. This is happening. It's happening right now. We have to go check in at the station. No! <laughs> How's the ribs? <laughs> like he's had a fall on the ski fields. His ribs are tender and every time he laughs, he has to grab them. Is this gonna be, is this gonna affect my health? No, <laughs> it's gonna be good. It's gonna blow the cobwebs out. What are we doing here? So it's like a slingshot, it's a catapult, like from the old medieval days. So imagine a huge canyon and then you're just kind of hanging above it like a spider in a, in a you know, a spider. And then you're just gonna let go and you're just gonna be <laughs> like that. 150 meters, three Gs of force, 100 kilometers in 1.5 seconds. Holy <laughs> <laughs> We're going right now. I need to see video footage of it. He needs to see video footage of it first. I'm very delicate on the roof cage. <laughs> this is the base of uncertainty. Matt and I are definitely going to be doing the catapult. We're about to go and get our harnesses on and we're going to do this thing. Laker has a bit of an update for you guys. 
At the 11th hour, I'm opting out. I think it's sensible at this point just to listen to my body and as much as I want to do that, I'm going to have to bow out, bow out of this one. I'm yes, afraid. his skiing, snowboarding injury has just caused some rib pain yeah. that he cannot... No Nurofen can overcome it. Yeah. Okay. Normally I would do this, but... Uh, it's right yeah, up your alley. It is. But he's going to hold the bags. Oh, watch from a distance. <laughs> oh man, I feel so Damn bad it. for you. That's all right. You got to do the skydive. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's go out there and do it, you guys. so much fun you guys oh my gosh I get all sweaty and cold all at once before we were getting all strapped in and then you stand on the edge you're like oh my god this is happening and they pull you up and you're there and I was like I just gotta commit I can't have any regrets here arms out like a boss and then bang you just go flying through the air uh, through the air and it's it's over before you can comprehend like the exhilaration it's just incredible so much fun I have to say if I was coming all the way up here again I would love to do more you just can't once you've overcome that initial fear you want more so if I were you I would definitely recommend doing like a combination do the bungee do the catapult do the swing do some combination of those because it is so much fun and you feel alive once you've overcome that kind of fear it's a good way to just invigorate yourself and take advantage of all the adventure activities here and we're gonna jump back in the bus and head back down to Queenstown and maybe grab something to eat and a cup of coffee road trip on New Zealand's South Island you have to come here to Omarama and visit beautiful Deb at Love Shack oh, yes Deb yeah. makes the best kebabs you guys you have to come here and try them now I fell in love with Deb and Love Shack about four or five years ago when Matt and I were doing our first ever road trip from Christchurch to Queenstown we just happened upon her we just stopped in I shared it on Little Grey Box website and then people tag me all the time now they see the guy they come and visit wow. Deb yeah they come they tag and say I had an amazing time she's a beautiful soul a beautiful person she makes incredible food she's a cute little dog and I cannot recommend her and her food enough you guys so make sure you come and show Deb some love and support because she deserves it thank you so much Phoebe thank oh, you so much anytime. Oh, oh. and I've had such amazing, amazing response from this. So many people all over the world yeah. follow your blog. No, that's all you. They're coming for the good news. No, because they've, yeah, <laughs> it's been awesome. It's just been wow. I'm just blown away with it. Thank you. It makes me Thank so you. happy. It just warms my heart. Thank yeah. you. Oh, I love you, Deb. Thank oh, you. Wow. Thank you. After an amazing time here, our New Zealand trip is coming to an end. After visiting beautiful Deb in Omarama, we are making our last journey to Lake Tekapo, where we'll be staying at the RV park there. And guys, we thought we would stop here at Lake Pukaki while the sun is setting and film a few final bits and pieces because we've got some great information that we want to share with you guys. Our trip was focused mainly around snow and snow adventures, so you will have seen a lot of that in our videos, but you don't have to do that. Where we packed four days of snow adventures into a whole nine days of road tripping you can pack your days with whatever you like and there is so much to do you've got all of your adventure activities there's hiking there's trekking there's wineries there's all kinds of day trips of course lord of the rings was filmed here so there's no shortage of amazing scenery when i was planning our itinerary i was really mindful of our snow days because i knew that we would need one or two days in between each day on the ski fields just to let our bodies recover so if you're thinking of doing the same i would recommend you do that too and one other thing to keep in mind you guys is New Zealand school holidays things get really really busy around those times especially on the ski fields now this trip was all made possible as I keep mentioning thanks to the amazing team at Motorhome Republic now 
I actually found them last year when Matt and I were planning our Canadian road trip and we were thinking about doing an RV adventure and I approached them about working together and they said yes and the reason I liked them so much one I just found their website was really easy to use number two they are like sky scanner for RVs so they pull together a really wide range of RVs so rather than just looking at one brand and seeing what they have we could see a really big range and we could find one that met our budget the number of people and what we needed in an RV for us we ended up going with a Maui River Platinum Boater Home <laughs> and it has been amazing. The size has been fantastic. Another thing I really like about Motor Home Republic was just that the amount of information they had on their website was better than everybody else's. Everything was really upfront. I could tell what was included, what was not. There was a 24 seven hour chat line that I could call up and ask questions. They speak multiple languages, which is so important and you can book them internationally. So like I was saying, you could be in Canada, you could be in New Zealand planning a road trip and you can find an RV that is gonna be right for you. And you guys, most importantly, when I was looking, their prices were the cheapest. And that's a huge thing for Matt and I, and I know it is for a lot of people too. We have had a truly amazing time doing this. I cannot describe to you the sense of freedom and adventure. It has felt like we have truly seen New Zealand. We haven't wasted any time indoors. Even when we're indoors, we feel like we're outdoors. And because we have everything we need with us at all times, we can just pull over wherever we like, set up the picnic chairs, have lunch in the middle of the fjord land, surrounded by New Zealand natural beauty and there's just this constant sense of mateship and camaraderie if I could describe it it kind of feels like being a little kid again like having a sleepover with your best friends I mean look at my smile we have just had so much fun it is so adventurous if you are trying to find a great way to see New Zealand I highly recommend it and Felix who watches our YouTube channel a lot he asked how does this compare to group tours uh, it's way better Felix I this is my favorite way of ever seeing New Zealand I have more control more freedom more adventure and more fun So we have pulled up at the Lake Tekapo Holiday Park, you guys. This place looks great. It's right on Lake Tekapo. It's the perfect place for us to have our last night before we head to Christchurch tomorrow. But I had a really interesting idea because Laker has been with us and he has kind of been our number one supporter since day one. When I first quit my job, he was like, do it, man. It's a great idea. President of the fan club. He really is. So I thought maybe as somebody who's been um, a supporter of us and who has seen us through those eyes and then has been here on this journey with us, I thought maybe he might like to share some interesting behind the scenes tidbits, some things that he's mm. noticed that he thinks the OG fans might appreciate hearing. What amazes me is the level of professionalism that these mm. two have. It just blows my mind just how organized and efficient and passionate they are. Um, the speed at which they do things is one thing that is just <laughs> off the charts. I just come in hot and I'm like, I'm going to do this in one take. Let's just do it. Yeah. I think it just feels good. I think I just love doing it so much. They're always on. They're always on. <laughs> Whether it's Phoebe with coming up with ideas for speaking to camera on the fly or with with Matt just like doing B-roll, he's always on, always looking for angles, always looking for something to put in there, hmm. always looking to fill the gaps. He works his butt off. It's so professional. It really is so just... you have it, kids. Next level. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, I'm trying to be as unbiased as I can. <laughs> as you know, I always like to look for the lesson in every adventure that we take, and this one has been a doozy. You guys, Matt, Laker and I really are best friends, and it would have been really easy for us to just let this time pass, to just talk about planning a trip to New Zealand and never actually do it. I know I've done that with so many friends and waited for them to plan an adventure that's just never happened. Heck, we could have gone years just catching up once a year, but instead we really put in a lot of effort and I'm really grateful we did put in all of that effort and time to make this trip happen because we are going to be looking back on this with fond memories for many, many years to come. And for me, that is just a really big reminder that 
you don't have to stop having new adventures together and creating these new memories together. You don't have to look back on, you know, the youth of your friendship and think, oh, remember that trip we took, you know, 10 years ago or whatever. You can have those trips now. You just have to put in the effort and you have to make these things happen. And I am so grateful that we did because it is absolutely worth it. I have had so much fun with you and you. I love you both so very much and I am just so grateful. It's just a reminder of how I feel about you guys and how I want this to be the first of many. So that's been the big lesson for me. <laughs> All right, you guys, and with that, that brings our three-part video series to an end and our New Zealand motorhome road trip to an end. We are flying back tomorrow. I just want to say a huge thank you to you guys for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Now, if you don't already, be sure to subscribe and say Kiora in the comments below. Have a great weekend, and I will see you next week. Love you.